What is up everybody, it's your wacky inflatable whore gamer aka Antoine Thomas and welcome your beautiful faces to Let's Play Feet in the Snow. Blazing through the coldly footed trail unraveling a dream. Feet in the Snow is a game about the protagonist drifting through a dream following a set of footprints and coming to the realization where following the path could lead. Obtaining tools, equipment, and even body parts, we research to obtain our values of the dream that resides in our darkened state of awareness. What will you find deep within your mind? Without further ado, let's get into it. Start walking. I keep having this dream. Why don't you tell me about it? I'm in a forest at night. There's snow everywhere. There are footprints in the snow leading off into the distance. Do you follow them? All right, so this is kind of like a point-and-click adventure. So uh, something I don't haven't really done in a while. I think the last game I played was um, Uninvited Guest or whatever the fuck was it about? I don't know. Uh, in Invitationum. That was the last point-and-click game I ever played. Yes, I follow them, but they keep going. How far do they keep going? Do they really just keep going in this? Disastrous winter? All right, well, disastrous winter it is. I walk forward again and see something on the ground in the snow. Do you look at it? Well, yeah, of course I'm going to look at it. Why would I just look at some random bullshit on the floor? Yeah, let's see what this is. Yes, I look at it. It's blood. It's goddamn blood. It looks like a, a red scarf, but what's wrong? It feels like flesh. Ugh. It's a flesh scarf. There's goddamn serial killers out here trying to touch the demons in my booty hole. Anyway, I continue forward. But I can go riot. I think this is multiple endings in this. I'm not sure. I see a path to the right. But it's a dead end. Oh, really? Okay. I can continue to follow the footprints, but notice a photo on the floor in the snow. Do you look at it? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look at everything. Why wouldn't I? Oh my god! Yes, I look at it. What is the photo of? It's me, but I have no face. Only a giant eye, and it's moving. What the fuck is this thing? Oh my god. Oh, ew, gross. I to fight me with my goddamn face. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> Into the death. I continue forward. Okay. Still nothing. Still nothing. Eventually, I see a lamppost. The path is split. One way the footprints continue. The other is just a clear path. Which way do you go? Um, well, it wants me to continue the, the path of the footprints. But if y'all know Antoine, Antoine doesn't do that. I look at the lamp. What's wrong? There are fingers inside. Ew, what the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna go the opposite. I always, I never go the way that the objective wants me to go. So I always go the opposite. I choose the path with no footprints. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. I see a house in the distance. Do you approach the house? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I approach the, the house of the death? Yes. I walk up to the house. Open front door. I try to open the front door, but it's locked. Do I need a key? Do, is there not? Am I not gonna be able to find a, a, a key? Oh, okay. Here we're back. 
I try to open the back door, but it's locked. I notice something on the floor. Oh, what the fuck? What is it? It's a... Severed hand. Oh, that is fucking gross. Inside the hand is a key. I'm gonna grab that bitch. <laughs> Got a key, bitch. Nice. I unlock the door and walk into the kitchen. Look at the pot. And there's another hand. All right, great. Uh, we know where the other hand went from that. From the we found the other missing hand. What what's next? The body, the torso, the head. Only the mystery will tell us. Ah, and there's the murder weapon. There's a knife in the sink. I take it. Oh, that's not a knife, but that's a knife. Yo, know, stab a bitch. Who wants to? Who wants to go with me? I'll fucking stab you. <laughs> anyway, is there anything else I can look at? I thought. No, I can't get nothing there. Go to storeroom. I walk into the storeroom. What's in there? Jars with body parts inside. Oh, oh, guys, damn it! It's damn jars. Oh God, what the fuck? Oh, me no likey. What is that? A kidney? My fucking lung? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, there's another hand. Oh, little king. Oh God, serial killer galore. Go to sunroom. Look at table. Oh, there's a key. Small key. Okay, it doesn't tell me where it goes to. It's just, just a random ass small key. Okay, weird. I'm wondering why I can look at all the plants. You th you'd you figure something would be there, but no, 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 nothing really. Oh. Well, hello, mister. I walk into the dining room. What do you see? A man sitting at the table. Do you approach him? No, but I'll fucking stab him. He's stab. He's stab, 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 stab. Uh, do I want to sit? Oh, oh God, it's moving. This is giving me way too much of an eerie feeling. I don't like this at all. Not even a little bit. All right, let's look at him. I approach the man. He has no eyes and tongue. Ugh. Oh, right eye. His right eye is missing. His left eye is missing. His tongue is missing. I guess those are the parts I'm going to need. Probably. Go to the living room? Look at the bowl. Oh, I found an eye. There's an eye in the bowl. and It's moving. I need something to dissolve the flesh. Oh, it's going to be a goddamn puzzle game. Son of a bitch. Sun room. Okay, this is where I was earlier. Okay, so now I can go to and fro. All right, cool, cool. cool. All right, upstairs. Hello, demons. I'm investigating the household. Oh! Oh! I walk into a bedroom. What's wrong? It's the flesh. I'm gonna cut this bitch. Yeah. I found an eyeball. There's an eye inside. All right, I got the left eye. Nice. All right, well, I was not expecting to be able to... I, I did not think that was going to work, but it did. So, you know, thank you, bitch. Uh, look in the drawers. There's a bottle of acid in the drawer. All right, cool. Well, I got that now. That's That'll be for the other eye. Okay, so... This one? There's a box on the bed. I guess I'm going to need the... The key. Yep, all right. Simple as easy fucking pie. And there's the tongue. Cool. Alright, well, we're going places. Gotta be careful not to damage the eye, you know? It's gonna be important. The eye came loose. Alright, cool. Let's go build this this guy back together. It's time to play Legos with a human body. Right eye goes in the... Oh, nope. Right eye goes in the right eye. Left eye goes in the left eye. Oh my god, this is fucking terrible. Oh, it moved! What happened? I'm on a road now. 
still covered in snow. I can see something in the distance. Oh, fuck that. It looks like a car. Oh! I approach the car. Is anyone inside? A woman. Oh, hello. I've been waiting for you. Well, someone. I'm glad you picked this path. The car needs fuel. There's a gas station down the road. If we bring back some fuel, I'll get us out of here. Oh, I don't like the f I don't know if I should trust you, though. You look like demon. You look like a diamond. Do I have my knife? Where's my knife? I want my knife back. <laughs> I see a gas station up ahead. Look at the sign. Fuel cans for sale. Inside. Look at pump. Gas pump. It looks old, but it still works. Okay. Get into the gas station. Hello! Oh, another creepy bitch in the corner. Okay. There are a few items on the shelves. I feel empty. Talk to woman. Ah, oh, you look actually pretty decent. Hey there, let me guess. You want a fuel can? There's one left. If you can find my marble, I'll give it to you. Okay. It looks like you got a lot of candoms on the wall and some marble low lights. I need to get you a marble? I don't know where the fuck a marble is. Narrator, tell me where a marble is. Alright, we'll we get the fuck out of here quicker. Bing bing. Bing bong bing bong. Bing bong bing bong. Hey, crazy bitch, you got a marble? Not allowed to leave the car. Please, just bring back some fuel. Yeah, because you're probably dead. You probably died from frostbite or some creepy ass shit. Oh, there's the marble. It's a marble. It's glowing. Do you pick it up? Yes. Okay. Well, we got a marble now. Let's go give this crazy ass gas station lady bitch her marble. Glowing. I just need that marble. I'll give you the fuel can. Oh, well, here you go, bitch. Perfect. Here, take this. Oh, all right, cool. Well, you're probably the only decent lady here. Go, cool, appreciate it. Thank you. Other crazy other people have got no eyes or fucking staring at me with crazy shit. You and me. You and me, Miss Woman. You and me. Miss Nancy. It's full. Cool. Yeah, well, let's go back to the car and fill up our car so we can get the fuck out of here with our car. Loop. Nope, nope. Loop. Nope, nope. Loop. Oh, no, I didn't give it to her. Great. Let's go. Yay, we did it, guys. Final ending. We did it. We, we lived. We survived. That's the end. Nothing terrible isn't gonna happen from this. Not even a little bit. Nothing. No death. No pain. We're all okay. Oh, I do not like this. I'm glad you chose this path. So I can take you home. You know... I often find people wandering this road. I, I drive them all home. They all talk to me about their dreams. I don't know a lot about dreams, but someone told me once that if you see footprints in a dream, don't follow them. You'll be trapped in your dream forever. Oh, wait, did I actually accidentally get the good ending? And then what happened? I woke up. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's... That's the good ending, I guess. Alright, well, shit. Okay. So, now we're gonna go ahead and take the, f the footprint uh, path and see where that ends up leading us, probably to more death, but oh well. Here we go. I follow the footprints. There's an elevator in the middle of a frozen lake. Do you use the elevator? I'm guessing that's the only thing I can do, right? Yep, alright, walk forward. Yeah, this is definitely giving me, like, bad. I'm glad we went the other way, because this is giving me bad vibes. I walk into the elevator. Bing. Okay. Up. The elevator takes me down into a concrete hallway. The footprints continue to a door at the far end. Oh. 
Okay. It's a fish. It's a fish. Okay. Uh, look at different chemicals. Okay. Wash. It looks like a lab. What the fuck? It hurts my head to look at. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish on the table. What's wrong? It's been cut open, but it's still alive. Something is missing. Body part, probably. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Surgical items. Oh, there's the heart. There's a tiny heart in the sink. Test tubes. It's locked. Okay, let's go back and give the fish his little heart. Yay! Go, little fishy friend. I got a key. Yeah, we saved a fishy. Guessing this goes to this? Yup! Ooh, what the fuck? Take valve. There's a valve on the ground. Okay. Creepy. Ooh! Oh! A person. Oh. Okay, friending. Nighting. So why is the only why is there only one person in here? Alright. The valve won't turn. It needs oil. Oil, you say? How the fuck am I supposed to find oil? Oh, it's right there. How did I not notice that? It's a bottle of oil. All right, cool. Well, that worked out. Okay, well, that looks terrifyingly hideous. Da -da -da -da, down to the death. I like to sing when I'm scared. Hello. I walk through a rusted tunnel until I see a light. What do you see? underground shop it's an alley with shop fronts lit up by lanterns do you still see footprints yes talk to man looks like you picked the wrong path i did yeah i figured talk to shop owner you ordering something can i get ramen before i go and uh go to hell or my eternal limbo Talk to man. I need to get out of here. Look at shop. There's no one here, but a locked box is on the counter. It's locked. I don't have a key. See anything you like? Uh, okay, Mr. Creepy, have a good day. Chose the fruit prints, huh? I did, yeah. I already know it's a bad ending. You seem... different. Because I'm new. That makes you feel any better. There's a big rusted door at the end of the, of the alley. Did I just hear you talking to yourself? You must be new here. I saw one of the shop owners restock the vending machine earlier. Could you buy me a drink? A vending machine. It requires coins. Of coins. There's no visible way of opening the door. Do you want to get through the big door? I can open it for you. If you can find a token and bring it to me. Okay, I don't have a token. A token? I haven't seen one, but if you're handing out favors, one of the other shop owners stole something from me. I'm convinced he's locked in that stupid box of his. If you can find the key and unlock the box, I'll give you some in return. Okay, where is the key though? That's the problem. Look at lantern. Why? What's so important about this one singular lantern? Is, it, is, there, is there a key in the lantern? Is that 
Is that the idea that there's gonna be a key in the lanterns? Yeah, there is. I gotta look at every single lantern. There it is. There's a key inside. Nice fucking mint. All right. Womp. Wampus. Oh, and there's an eye. It's an eye. Uh, dear lady, I found in your eyeing for your meal. Here you go, Aang. Perfect. I knew he'd taken it. Here, take these. Yeah, I got coins. Yeah, let's go, boy. A vending machine requires coins. I have coins. A can of drink came out. Thanks. Oh, there's a finger in the drink. You can have it. I only want the drink. Okay, well, it's great, I guess. I think I know who wants the finger. Probably, no, not you. Why are you guys all the same? Like, they're all the same person. Just what I needed. You know, I saw that guy. You know, the one just over there. He's crouched down, smoking. I saw him pick up a token off the floor. Uh, yeah, I found something that looked like a big coin on the floor. I bought some cigarettes from one of the shops with it. Alright, the guy did buy cigarettes from me with that token. The guy wants so badly to get out of here, but he used the only the thing that will get him out for cigarettes. And now I bet you're waiting for me to tell you to get something from me, so I'll give you the token. But all you have to do is ask me. So here it is, good luck. Good luck. Okay. Well, then what about... Who's this guy for? I see you have the token. Hand it over and I'll open the door. Oh, okay, just opening it for me. Alright, that worked out. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Don't think I'll be seeing you again. Oh. Cinematic. Where are you now? On a mountain trail. It's snowing again and the wind is strong. Do you climb the mountain? Sure. Yes, I continue on the mountain trail. Going up the mountain, hopefully not gonna die. Even though I know this is the bad ending, fuck it, we are going. I'm at the top. I can see floating rocks over the edge. Do you step over the edge? I guess, yeah, fuck it. YOLO! Yes, I step onto a floating rock. Ah! Ooh, ah! Ooh, ah! I hop across each floating rock. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Up, oh, and there's the, the feet. There's something on the last rock. It's, it's toes. It's my toes. It's my tootsies. My grippers! What is it? It's feet. They've been leaving the footprints. Oh, turn around. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, good, good, good. There's nothing. No path back. And I'm guessing that's it, huh? And then what? Oh. Wow, that's it. Well, son of a bitch. Alrighty then. All right, and with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play of Feet in the Snow. If you guys did enjoy this Let's Play, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like. This was definitely a more artistically inclined game. Like, it wasn't as much story-driven as it was to plot a point of your dreams are important and they always diverse and tell you something about you and your thoughts and opinions on life. But it's not always smart to follow or to look into a deeper meaning of the dream as in us as this is this is my opinionistic value of the game, right? So we sit here, we follow these footprints. This is us trying to find the deeper meaning behind our dream. And then we just find out that there's nothing to, to it. It's just a dream. And then the other path is we we end up realizing that it's just a dream. There's nothing really too crazy about it. It's just another night another t time we sleep and then we awake 
and then we go back to sleep and do it all over again. And I think if you look towards a deeper meaning behind a dream, it could lead you towards a more sinister outlook or something that could try and take you continue down the path of the same continuous dream over and over, relaying the same thing till you find what your conclusion is. But in the end, you never will. Now, if you take the the non path or taking the out of the uh, off the trail path, it, it's just it just shows you that it's just another dream. It's nothing important. It's something your mind will play to get you out of that sh that mind trickery game that you put put on yourself. I really liked the artistic value of this game. I really liked the art style, the everything about it, the point and click adventure, the the voicing, the story. Every, it, it was good. No, there wasn't any voicing, but hearing myself talk was nice. Um, it wasn't too long, but it wasn't too short. It was just it was just a perfectly well intermixed game, and I liked that there was multiple endings, and that the multiple endings just lead to a solid conclusion that leaves you to your own opinion. So I, I don't know. I liked it. It was it was intriguing. I liked the game. So again, without further ado, thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play, and I shall see you guys all later. Adios, and goodbye.